Here's a quick story about an egg. As I mentioned years ago, I worked in an office environment and two things you should know. One is that my beautiful, dearly departed dog, Rudy, used to come into the office with me a few days a week. He had a little bed in the corner. It was a hospital environment. We would go visit people once in a while. Also, the other thing you should know is I was a relentless pranker of my coworkers. I never stopped. And they tried to prank me periodically, but they were absolutely abysmal at this, except once. One time I'd gone away for a long Easter weekend and when I returned on the Tuesday, they had wrapped my entire office in beautiful Easter wrapping paper. And I mean everything, right down to the pencils and the books, every single thing. There were also piles of that Easter grass everywhere, that brightly colored grass that you put in baskets and little foil wrapped Easter eggs everywhere, little chocolate Easter eggs. It took me forever to clear that office of all the wrapping paper and I don't think when I left that job years later, I'd still gotten rid of all of that Easter grass. But the chocolate eggs, oh, I got rid of them pretty quickly, except one. A few days after I'd cleaned everything up, I walked in the office and set my bag down on the chair and I noticed over in the corner, hunkered down was one single blue and white polka dotted foil wrapped chocolate Easter egg nestled in a little nest of rooty fur and Easter grass. And I didn't pick the egg up and I don't know why. But then every day I would come in and as I came in and set my bag down, I'd turn and look and I'd acknowledge the egg. And I'd like to think that he sort of acknowledged me. We had a symbiotic relationship here. He clearly needed a place to nest and I don't know. Maybe I like that constant of walking in and seeing him there every day. And there he sat for some days until Sherry walked in one day. Sherry was my manager. Sherry's also a very practical woman, a mother, no nonsense. She's the sort of person who, when she walks into an office and glances to her left and notices an old chocolate egg sitting in a pile of fur, she picks it up and makes to throw it in the garbage can. That is, until somebody shouts, Stop! No! She did stop. Her eyes narrowed a little and she looked at me. Don't throw that away! I begged her. Now her look got a little more intense and she said to me, why? Now I've long held this belief that there is a little man inside of my head who is in charge of all the files for the reasons that I do the things I do. And when I need one, he pulls one out. But this day, he just like ripped his necktie off and threw his glasses on the desk and he quit. He quit. I was on my own. And so I said, because I'm going to eat it. Sherry looked at me with such a mixture of disgust and disbelief that I felt I had no choice here but to double down. Thus, I launched into my defense of the foil wrapper being an adequate barrier for the chocolate, no matter what environment it had been in. That is the point at which Sherry disengaged from the conversation, turned on her heel, dropped the egg in the garbage can, and left. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, Buying and selling houses can be a very emotional process and you have this one big asset, a house, and you often have sellers who feel very emotionally attached to the houses that they're putting on the market. They may have built them, they may have worked on them, they may have raised their family in it. They can feel very emotional about it. On the other hand, you have buyers coming in with agents like me who are telling them not to be too emotional about this. And there's nothing wrong with that. They are purchasing a big asset. They need to be thinking clearly, but there are always different ways to see the same object. And so when buyers are a little frustrated sometimes and they don't understand why sellers might be doing what they're doing or vice versa, there is nothing wrong with remembering that other people may be looking at this house and this transaction with a different lens. What for one person may be a straightforward transaction may for the other person be a big life transition. So it never hurts just to bear in mind that other people may view the same object differently. Right, Sherry? I ate that egg.